All right, so now what I wanna do is update this join us form so it just looks just a little bit better uh, than it does currently. So to do this, I'm gonna jump in to that form which we had in joinform.html. And before the form itself or the input itself, I'm gonna add just another uh, label in here. And it's above that, I will add div class equals to input group. Close off this label and then I will write uh, join us, save that, R refresh locally. Let's take a look at this. Uh, and we've got this join us now. Um, I obviously want this to be inline. I don't want it to be next to it like that. So what I'm gonna do is do form dash inline, save that. Refresh, there's our now, our new form. And this join us button, I'm going to change ever so slightly. So inside of here, I'll just add style and I'm gonna do padding. So top and bottom, I'll do zero picks. Left and right, I'll do 20 pixels, save that. Refresh gives us a little bit better of a look. And then I'll do font size being 16, or let's say I do 20 pixels, refresh that. That's our new join us form that looks a little bit better. The actual button will be primary. We save that. Refresh. Okay, cool. So now it's actually starting to look a little better. I'm going to get rid of that. So by going into stacked layout as well as standard layout, we will get rid of all of those. And I'm just going to turn it into a column that goes all the way across. So that's 12. And then standard layout is going to be the same. And we'll just delete those. Save that. Refresh. And there is our new form coming through in here. So let's go ahead and inspect the element a little bit. Um, we've got our form and it's not exactly aligned center. So let's go ahead and go into that join form and let's do that. I'll just say text center and see what that looks like. We refresh it. Now our join form is right in the center. Uh, the input type itself or the input form is not going all the way across, which we may want. Uh, but what I definitely want is a color behind this and I'll say style and co uh, background color. And I'll just put that equal to gray. And I'm going to put this on both things, standard and stacked. We save that. And now we've got a little bit like of a closer, hey, join us sort of thing here. And also if we wanted to put a name or, or another field on there, that's that would come through just a little bit better. One other thing is I'm gonna add in some Font Awesome stuff. Font Awesome is a really cool way to have some, some um, CSS icons that are very useful. And you can Google Font Awesome and take a look, but this is the CSS that we're gonna end up using. I'm gonna go ahead and save that in the join form. Right after this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this input um, button outside of the group. So it's no longer a group. The reason I don't need it to be a group is because we have this form in line. But instead what I'm going to want to do is I'll say div class equals to input dash group dash add on. And this will allow me to have a little add on in here. And in this case, I'm going to do I class equals to FA and then FA envelope which th that's coming from Font Awesome itself. Save that, refresh in there, and now I've got that envelope there, but what I want is I want a better background, so I'll just say style um, background color is FFF, as in clear, and then border left, I'll do zero pixels, save that, and there we go. So that's looking a little bit better as far as, hey look, this is your email, and we've got a little icon indicating that it is your email as well. And now you'll be able to join. So since we have this, I'm gonna go ahead and add this also into our sign up form up here. And I'm gonna put this right after that. So we'll save that, refresh, and now we see it also in there. Um, notice that it is just a join form. We could have it being a little bit different, as in we could have it right below it by taking it out of the input group, refresh, and now it goes here, doesn't look very good, so I'm gonna keep it in uh, just like that. So now we'll have just another way to do the join us related stuff. And this is now you know, kind of dragging your attention there. Uh, but I do wanna change actually how that also looks, and I'm gonna get rid of the column small offset 
because I want this just right in the middle and, and going all the way across. Um, so that's the stacked layout and then the standard layout, we wanna do the same thing. Basically, I don't wanna have that offset that I once did and now it's going across, there we go. So I do wanna last is make this email field a little bit wider than it is currently. Um, so I'm just gonna add a width of let's say 250 pixels. That makes it a little bit wider, maybe 275. We don't wanna get it too wide because that might cause some issues uh, with responsiveness, but 275, that's what the pixels I'm gonna leave it as. So going back into that join form, um, the input style or the input group is here in this field, right? So I can't just change it right then and there. So what I can do is I can add a class to it inside of my form. So in this form, I have the class of form control, but let's go ahead and add um, sign up form here. Refresh, look at this, inspect that element. Let's close that off inspect the element on that form itself. And it looks like it's not even letting me grab it now. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we inspect that element again. And now we see that I have those two different classes associated to it. So I can add this class to our main.css, which is where I want it. I'm gonna add that sign up form and I will just add the width, um, this is actually not sign up form, but sign up email form. Let's call it that. Width, we said 275 pixels. We'll save that. I'm gonna copy this class, bring it into the forms, and we'll call it sign up form email or sign up email form, whatever. Um, we refresh in here. It's not showing because we wanna collect the static files. Say yes. And again, it's still not showing. And the reason for that has to do with um, local testing. So we'll do git status, git add dash dash all, git commit, update, sign up form styles, git push Heroku master. Gonna let that run. Okay, it's all finished. Let's refresh in, in our knock HQ. Um, that's looking good. Something I do want to add is probably um, having some spacing below it. Uh, something I do notice is the main.css doesn't seem to be changing this sign up email form. So if we go into taking a look at our main.css, opening it up in a new tab, it is there but the width is not actually changing. So let's inspect that element again. And we've got our sign up form email here. And here it is right here. It's actually being overridden from another sort of thing. So what I'm gonna do is bring it back, go back into main.css and I'll just add important after it, which gives it a requirement. And then I also wanna add padding underneath that um, sign up layout, layout portion. So this right here, I wanna have some padding below that form or some margin below, and I'll just add 20 pixels. It's a nice solid number for that. We'll save that. Let's go ahead and look at it locally. Uh, gives us some padding there. Okay, that looks good, at least locally. Um, this is now showing correctly. So we'll do git status, git add dash dash all, git commit, update main form. Uh, we'll also do uh, collect static. So Python manage.py collect static. Yes, git add dash dash all, git commit, update CSS, git push Her Heroku master. All right, so I'm gonna let that complete and then in the next one we'll pick up uh, with what we need next. All right, so if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.